They are now approximately three weeks until the official release of the Shibarium blockchain. We recently received an official update from Unification, who are the team behind the development of Shibarium, and they outlined several details including a time frame and some features that the community can expect. So in today's video, we're going to discuss what this will mean for the Shiba Inu ecosystem and what impact this is going to have on each aspect of our ecosystem. Welcome back to Shib Planet everyone, this is Ace. Everything is surely but slowly falling into place and the long awaited Shibarium just got an official update from the developers. So expect a lot of attention on the Shiba Inu ecosystem from this point on because things are about to get interesting. Alright guys, let's get right to it. Okay, before I start, I think it's best to set the stage and explain what a layer 2 blockchain is and what this means for the Shiba Inu ecosystem for some of you guys who are new to blockchain. So basically, all Shiba Inu ecosystem tokens of Shib, Leash and Bone and Shiboshis are Ethereum based tokens. Now Ethereum is the main layer or layer 1 and I like to think of it as a country and the tokens are citizens of that country which have their own individual net worths. But Ethereum in its current state is heavily congested due, due to the many transactions from all kinds of different applications. And this results in a slow and very expensive experience for everyone in terms of gas fees. And a layer 2 blockchain is built on top of Ethereum and uh, where uh, a lot of uh, activity and transactions from trading, gaming, NFT minting and all sorts of DeFi can take place without having to compete with everyone else on the main uh, Ethereum layer. And I like to think of layer 2s as states or provinces within that main country. A state or province enjoys all the main security benefits of, the, of that country, but it's autonomous enough to have its own laws and its budgets and also its own local governments. And this helps it run more efficiently as it eases the burden of uh, having the country to do all the, the heavy lifting. So now, uh, transactions on, on layer 2, they happen much faster and at a fraction of the cost than they would on if they were on, on layer 1. And then they're all rolled up into one big transaction which is then posted back onto the mayor, main layer uh, which is Ethereum for final settlement. And so that's a quick explanation in a nutshell. Shiba Inu is basically building its own state and the interesting thing is that some states actually have better GDP than some countries. So I actually think it's possible that in the future the Shiba Inu ecosystem will perform much better than other separate layer ones which are in the top 100 uh, cryptos if everything goes as expected. Okay, now on to the main course. Unification is the team who are battle testing the long awaited Shiba Inu layer 2 blockchain. Today they released a, de a detailed Medium article which uh, highlighted a number of projects which they're currently working on and one of the sections included some details about Shibarium. So what I'm going to do is I'll read out the main section for you and I'll provide some commentary to explain some of the, what some of the main areas mean. And it, and it reads like this, Shibarium, the private alpha testnet has been successfully running for a number of weeks and is allowing for our team of developers to create the necessary support tools prior to the public beta testnet development. It goes on to say the primary tool under development, under heavy development is the wallet application, which is intended to be an all inclusive application covering two way asset transfers between layer one and layer two asset transfers on each respective level, staking or delegating, and in future releases, ShibaSwap integration, which will also be deployed on layer two. And of course, that's what we've been waiting for. Now, what they're referring to here is the interface which users can connect their wallets to to allow for the migration of assets from Ethereum to, to Shibarium and back. Now, in their previous article, they provided a mock version of what this might look like. And whilst I'm sure that this image I'm showing you here is not the final version, it's still a good illustration of some of the main features. So basically, users will be able to transfer their Ethereum based tokens uh, to Shibarium by selecting deposit and then choosing the token which you want to transfer and then simply hitting the transfer button. And then the, you would probably pay gas fees only at this stage, but then beyond that, uh, transactions on the Shibarium chain itself will have, um, you, it says here that they'll be approved in seconds and for pennies, which is awesome. And I think a good practical example of this is, um, I'd imagine it would be for all of us who have assets on ShibaSwap. I like to imagine it would be transferring our staked assets and liquidity tokens to Shibarium where they'll be recognized on the new ShibaSwap. Then from there, we can start enjoying the super low gas fees as we make various transactions. 
The article goes on to say that Shibarium is being built on and improving well-established, battle-tested and robust technology with XFund and particularly Oracle of Oracles or Triple O, which will play a key role in the network and as an AMM, which stands for Automated Market Maker. And this is um, quite, quite necessary, especially for decentralized exchanges. For those of you who don't know, Unification develops blockchain tools which makes crypto companies more efficient. They are partnered with a number of exchanges. And for those of you who remember, they even supplied the oracles for the Shiboshi's launch, which happened uh, late last year. And the final paragraph reads as follows. The Shibarium public beta testnet is planned for deployment in Q3, which runs between July and September. Uh, to co coincide with the fund testnet upgrade, which includes the much anticipated IBC Gravity uh, W fund updates. The public beta testnet will allow for parties to fully interact with the network, including the validation process. And that's going to be pretty cool. If you guys remember, Shiba Inu released a blog article uh, recently uh, about the validation process that they require 20 million bone tokens to be used for, um, I think, validator rewards. And there's currently a governance vote which is happening on ShibaSwap. For those of you guys who haven't voted yet, um, if you got if you have your bone tokens, I highly suggest that you put in your votes just so, so we can see where the rest of the ecosystem will head. And there you have it guys, the timeline falls in line perfectly with what Shaitoshi said. We can expect Shibarium towards the end of summer, which is what Shaitoshi said, which is Q3 as well. Now I'll tell you why I think this is quite exciting. Did you guys realize that basically in the month of September, three huge catalysts are going live at the same time? Because first, we're going to have the Shiba Inu card game, which is being developed by Playside Studios. And then secondly, we're going to have the John Richmond International Fashion Show, which is going to be sho showcasing Shiba Inu themed fashion alongside uh, Shiba Inu uh, th fashion themed NFTs. And then, of course, the what we've all been waiting for, the launch of Shiba Inu's own Layer 2 blockchain. And I personally think September will sh uh, will set Shiba Inu apart in a big way, but it's still quite hard for me to do a price prediction because there's so much going on in the broader financial markets. But between now and September, remember we still have the Shibarium Hackathon, which has to be started, where developers are going to be incentivized to build cool new creations on the Shibarium network. And if I get time, I really want to forecast what the financial climate is going to be like in September so I can see if there'll be enough greed in the market for those catalysts to have any meaningful impact on the price of SHIB and the, uh, the, the rest of the ecosystem tokens. But outside of that, I think Bone Token will progressively get stronger and stronger and hopefully get listed on big exchanges before the end of the year. All thanks to being the gas token of Shibarium and the governance token of the Shiba Inu ecosystem. And on that point, I think we can uh, just uh, play around and do a quick bone price simulation. I've set up the calculator so that it's... Um, so it's at Bone's current price. You can see the price of Bone has shot up since my previous video a couple of days ago. I think the price was around uh, the low 40s. Now it's close to now it's close to 50 cents, which is uh, I think about 14% up. And uh, for those of you guys who are using this calculator, I highly suggest that you update the circulating supply of Bone to what it says in CoinGecko. So CoinGecko, I think, is more accurate than CoinMarketCap at the moment. And they uh, reflect the current circulating supply of Bone token to be about 74 million. So just update this uh, section over here. And with that said, let's, quick, let's quickly run a simulation. So if you were to buy, let's say, for example, $100 of Bone token at the price at the moment, that, that gives you about 200 bone tokens. So I'm just going to put 200 bone tokens here. As we know, that's, you know, roughly 100 bucks over there. And um, between now, if, if the price continues to increase with all this expectation, which we're having uh, regarding Shibarium and, um, and uh, you know, more robust use of the governance features of the bone token, we can expect that uh, the price of um, bone token should be able to steadily uh, rise. Or if not, or maybe even stay more or less the same if if the market conditions are bad. So let's see what this happens. I personally think that, um, you know, we should be able to get to hopefully back to the $3 mark, which is close to a $300 million uh, um, market cap position. So if, if that happens, your $100 would become close to $800. And uh, let's see what happens if we were to pump it again. And, um, you know, close closer to, to maybe 500,000. And I think that is quite possible um, but then that most likely it'll be if the market conditions are, are pretty good but either way 
you know, it's pretty good. Your one hundred dollars would have become one uh, one point three, like over a thousand dollars. So that's 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 pretty good um, in, in my view. But obviously, uh, I'm pretty bullish on the bone token uh, due to all its utility. But for now, I'll just leave that as our simulation, guys. Otherwise, that is it from me today, guys. If you like the way I cover the Shiba Inu ecosystem, the best way you can continue to support this channel is by simply hitting the like button and also leaving a comment. I'll be covering all the major news and updates and doing more analysis as the weeks progress. Anyway, otherwise, thank you once again so much for watching, everyone. This is Ace. Peace.